Welcome to Bootle Breaks number nine. First, a quick shout out to Adam, my best bud up there in Corvallis. Uh, he is like an amazing, uh, endless fountain of creative and uh, inspiring patching. Uh, also, Mike in Chicago, Bob in Stockton, Ben in LA, uh, Nicholas, Klaus, Heinrich, Ian, and my number one fan, whose name I don't know, but lives in Barcelona. Okay, today we're going to be looking at this, uh, the integrator that's on the 266, in my case, R, and uh, let's uh, get going. So, before we get to the integrator, we'll just, uh, I have two things going, a little baseline here that's coming off the 255V, and there's the FM off, wave shape down to sine, wave shape now going up to square, FM on, and then it's going through the 292R, and what I love about uh, it is in low pass gate mode we get sort of thumper. Okay, and then the other thing we have going is this little that's coming out of the 259, but what's making all the wobblies is the integrator over here. So the integrator is basically a slew or portamento. I'm going to slow this down. Oops. So it's being driven by this coming out of the morphin and then it's going to the 259 whole thing is section C on the 281E. It's, uh, it's going straight to, it's sort of duplicating the attack down here, and uh, the pulse is going out to, where is the pulse going out? It's clocking the morphin, and then uh, the control voltage out of that is going to uh, section A of the 292, which is uh, the 259E, or sorry, 259, and then the uh, Verbos 258 is coming out of the other channel. the basic setup. I want to quickly A, B, just the baseline, and then we'll go in and play just with the 200 modules, clone modules, and then we'll go over to the, um, and spend more time with the 200E series. So if we uh, take a listen to this. Okay. Now, going over here, to the 200E, have a similar sound and patch coming up. This is already in low pass gate. Uh, it doesn't get that thumper thing that we heard over on the um, 292R. There's combo, and there's that. Okay. That's enough for now. Let's go back here and play through this, see how that integrator changes things, uh, and here we go. I get sort of a little quicker thing going here. This is coming out of B. Thank you. 
that's just going through step one of morphin. And we can now by change adjusting this. By the way, I know some of you are online and probably are chatting. I go back and check all the chats and be happy to answer questions and or we can have the discussion on muffs uh, on the buccal break number nine thread that's up there now. So let's now go over to the 200E and look at a similar setup here. Once again, C of the 281E is dr the driving force. Now I'm using a 259E. What I find uh, between the 259 and 259E is the 259 is uh, more dramatic and sensitive. Uh, just little uh, tweaks uh, bring, bring big changes. Uh, it's a little subtler, I find, on the 259E. Uh, that's just my experience. Thank you. 
Now, the integrator on the 266, um, there's nothing like it that I can find on the 200E. There is, however, uh, you may already know this, on the music easel, there's this portamento, which has in and a nice big dial there, and slope outputs, which is sort of slew outputs. So it, I think, is a similar parallel kiss and cousin of the integrator. Also, one thing that I, it's not in the uh, 200E uh, series that I know of, there are things that come close as an inverter. Um, and the 257, there's a junior version of that in the music easel right up here. Um, also, if you go to uh, Django's Fire, that's Adam's channel, Django's Fire at YouTube, and look up Laser Birds from Paradise, not only is it using the 230 uh, envelope follower, but it's also heavily reliant, especially if about 30 seconds in, you'll be able to see the use of the 257 and of the integrator. Uh, those uh, seem to be important elements. Uh, here's the portamento. Uh, detail from the music easel. I think the closest thing in surge land is the dual universal slope generator. Uh, my suspicion is we could get the same sort of things going. I might give that a try or maybe some of you surgeites uh, will go for it. Um, and then the only thing I can find similar to the 257 is in another format is um, the Eurorack, the make noise uh, maths seems to be similar. Okay, so important things about easels is they have these two nice things. Okay, I'm trying to think if I missed anything else. I think that covers it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, uh, just let me know. We'll uh, fire up and uh, blast out of here. Stay tuned, uh, go to uh, Ustream Buklabot to see when the next Buchla break might be. I'm doing these sort of ad hoc now, so you can look at that or go on Muffs. I'll be announcing it there. Thanks for tuning in. See you later. <laughs>